And uh, yes, there's the Nairobi Restaurant Week, which is what we want to talk about. Um, start by letting us know what is that all about? So Nairobi Restaurant Week is actually a celebration of the dining culture in Kenya. Uh, what we are trying to achieve is to create like a great culture where people get a chance to get out of their comfort zones and be able to go out and dine. And the more people go out, the more restaurants, you know, get used to like more crowds coming through. The cheaper restaurants get, the better supply chains get, you know. Uh, we're just trying to create a great dining culture now. Oh, fantastic. And, and I must say that I've noticed that uh, the eating out culture, if I can yes. call it that, in <laughs> Kenya is really growing. It is. It is growing day by day. I mean, we absolutely love it. That's the target. We want more people to be able to, uh, you know, go out, try new cuisines. You know, I mean, Nyamachama is great and everything. Yeah. Um, but, you know, why not go and uh, try a little bit of Thai, you know, get, a, get to see a little bit of Thailand and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that uh, we have quite a number of uh, different kinds of cuisine in terms of countries. Yeah. Uh, you'll find Italian, uh, you know, there's yes. quite a number of, uh, there's a good selection. Yes, a very good selection. And it's growing day by day. I mean, you know, we're, we're actually seeing the dining culture growing quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And we're absolutely loving it. Honestly, I think um, seeing Kenyans getting out there, trying new stuff. Mm -hmm. And even restaurants, I mean, they get a chance to sort of see what's happening and how it's going and, you know, growing themselves as well day by day. So absolutely. So how does this work? First of all, when, when did it start when they so did the Nairobi, Nairobi restaurant, restaurant week uh, it's an annual event mm -hmm. uh, this is now our third year uh, running and it's always end of January start of February so this year it was on the 28th of January mm -hmm. and it's ending on the 7th of February so if you haven't gone out make sure you go and try a few restaurants okay and how does it work you know one might imagine that okay being Nairobi restaurant week then maybe I walk into a restaurant and I get a free cuisine or how does it work okay so basically Nairobi restaurant week is a very great concept uh, we want to be able to get people to go out mm -hmm. and be able to try a three course meal at a very reasonable price. So this year, you know, we're looking at something along the lines of uh, 1,500 shillings for a three course. And at some establishments, it's 2,500 for a three course. Wow. And that's, you know, just you walk in, you have your three course and mm -hmm. you pay and that's it. It's like a great experience and you never know that could become your new favorite restaurant to go to. Maybe you should have extended it to the 14th <laughs> of February given that this is the month of love and I'm sure there's going to be many yeah. people dining. Well you know with Nairobi Restaurant Week the restaurants actually uh, go out there and they give us a great product uh, for a reasonable price. So it's not very sustainable for too long. For you know, this long. is just a great annual, you know, event that we do. And for Valentine's, you know, we want the restaurants to obviously be able to benefit as well a little bit from yeah, all and the I guess if you're happy. taking your Valentine out, pay for it. Exactly. For treat free. treat that person yeah, sure really is. well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. Now, um, what restaurants but is it all restaurants that participate is there like um, a number of restaurants that are participating yes so this year we actually have 60 establishments coming on 60. board yes um, so we're looking at like a lot of the outlets that have branches mm -hmm. so you know through it all we've hit 60 uh, you know and we're seeing it growing year every year like every year uh, it's getting bigger it's getting better and you know just growing really really well and okay. yeah it's exciting is, is it uh, restricted to Nairobi only or is it currently it's Nairobi only, but I mean, you know, we are looking at expanding slowly across, like, you know, we've had people from the coast side saying, why don't you do one here? Right. I mean, we've also had like Dar es Salaam and, you know, Kampala approaches at some point going, let's do this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, look out for these things. They're going to be some really great events. But in the meantime, for now, you know, Nairobi is the place to be. And, uh, you know, every year we try and do food week, week. So look out for Pizza Festival, which will be coming up as well. Oh, is that coming yeah. up as and well? And okay. a few more exciting weeks coming along. So you just have to yeah <laughs> watch okay. out for it but now th this concept is not a Kenyan thing no actually it's a great concept because uh, it started in New York and it's uh, about 30 years now and basically what we're trying to do is uh, we brought it to Nairobi uh, you know the first company to bring it here and honestly we just want to make Nairobi one of the best destinations to come to for food we mm -hmm. have great produce we have a great like you know a culture here for dining so you know why not attract a whole bunch of people and say, come to Nairobi, eat. Uh, you will never get food better than what you eat here. What you're eating here. <laughs> now, what are some of the cuisines that uh, somebody should look out for? Uh, you know, we actually have so many. I, I, I wouldn't even want to be specific because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, explore. Like, just get a chance to... Um, I'm going to be doing a shameless plug right now, but if you go <laughs> on to Eat Out, mm -hmm. uh, eatout.ca.ke, you get to choose from a variety of restaurants. You get to choose from a variety of cuisines. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to choose from a variety of locations. So, you know, it just makes it easy. 
and uh, you know customize to your own palates. Okay. And uh, now, if uh, you said there are about sixty restaurants that are participating, yes. if I wanted to sample out, depending on how I feel today being Friday, and I mean the weekend <laughs> is here, yes. somebody in the evening might think, oh, I heard about this thing, but uh, I have no idea which restaurants are participating. Yes. How would one, you know, find that? Uh, the list is available on NairobiRestaurantWeek.com and if you go on to the Facebook pages, you'll find an event page for Nairobi Restaurant Week. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you will see a whole list of the restaurants participating, you get to see the menus they're offering um, and you just get a chance to sort of see what's, what's available out there. Okay. I would assume that uh, one would depending on the restaurant i guess one would have to make a booking or how does it work uh, we do recommend bookings at the moment i mean a lot of the establishments do have a lot of people coming through right now i mean you know certain places normally serve about 100 people normally uh, we have 300 people going in like at this week and so it's a little overwhelming but i mean just try and make a booking so you avoid disappointment okay yeah and uh is it just for dinner is it lunch uh, you so have breakfast <laughs> <laughs> well breakfast i don't think anyone's done it this year. Here. Maybe we should. I mean, you Maybe know, you this, this is a good. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good suggestion. Here after, after, after people have gone out, especially like on a Friday, yes. <laughs> on Saturday morning, there are those who actually are looking exactly, for breakfast. Yeah. So you never know. So we should yeah. be actually <laughs> looking at the breakfast side of things for sure. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, certain establishments are offering lunch, and certain establishments are doing dinner only. It just depends on when they're open. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, all the details are all available in Nairobi Restaurant Week. So you know, some places have separate lunch menus, separate dinner menus. So it's a great idea just to go check it out see what's going on how it's working okay now one of the things that I've realized um, as a country sometimes we suffer from is um, what would I call it a customer service that is not up yes. to speed <laughs> is that something that maybe uh, would be worked on with time uh, so yes that's actually the whole point of Nairobi restaurant week for us we what we are trying to do is get establishments to see that you know, uh, once we, we get more people coming in, the, the staff uh, generally get more trained on it. They get a chance to sort of see how it works. And, uh, you know, they just get better and better as time goes by. So, fingers crossed, in another mm. 10 years, we will become the best at what, you know, at, at what you do. <laughs> we do. Okay. <laughs> how soon do you think you'll expand and have this, uh, you know, cover the whole uh, country, for example? Uh, we're looking at doing it slowly. So, for now, I mean, we're still very young as Nairobi Restaurant Week as well. We're just three years old uh, as a concept so what we want to do is first make sure that Nairobi is done really well and perfect it then, while you're still here yeah exactly yeah. and then once we move to the other cities you know we understand the challenges we have had to face and mm -hmm. be able to better address them mm -hmm. and then yeah you never know I mean next year we might just pop up suddenly and be <laughs> like oh guys guess what <laughs> we're doing it somewhere else right. too now so okay. I mean, and I yeah. guess um, food is uh, it, it can be a form of tourism you it even, really even like having visitors yes. from outside the country come yes. literally just to sample it, some you'd of the you'd be cuisine. surprised. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, people go specifically to countries to have a, like a, their cuisine, right. street food, you know, that sort of a culture. And that's what we want to grow here. Because, I mean, if you look at our produce, we have some of the best produce growing around, but we import most of it. I, I feel like, you know, if we used it here instead, why not? I mean, mm -hmm. if, if the restaurants decide that, okay, you know, let's, let's do this, let's get a bigger culture growing. Uh, you know, you'll just see everything increase, improve, and get better with time. Okay. So, you know, when tourists do come, they, they yeah, I mean, you know. Do, do we have restaurants that uh, offer what I'd call exclusively Kenyan cuisine, if there's anything like Kenyan cuisine? Um, there are. I think there are a few restaurants that do offer a very Swahili-based mm -hmm. uh, food thing. So, basically, it's not just Nairobi, and it's not, I mean, a lot of Kenyans say Nyama Choma. <laughs> um, but, you know, we do have a great uh, Swahili culture, because if you go to the coast, there's so many dishes and stuff. So, there are established that do offer us a very Swahili experience as well. Um, but yeah, again, eat out. You'll just get all the details. You'll get all there. the details. Okay. Uh, finally, as we wind up, uh, just details of how one can now um, get the information. Okay. Uh, do you need to make any advance payments? What happens? Okay. So no advance payments, but uh, it's basically you just going, make sure you make a booking <laughs> to avoid disappointment. Yeah, to avoid but getting the end. Yeah. Cool. So you walk into an establishment, sit down, order your three course, and then just pay as you normally would. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, are the prices on the website? or Yes. So everything's available on NairobiRestaurantWeek.com. Um, you'll get the menus, you'll get the price points for each establishment. So you get a chance to see what they're offering. Mm -hmm. And you just get a chance to choose then what, whatever's suitable you know, for your pocket. For your so pocket. it could be something where you've decided that you just want to have a great evening out. And you never know, this might become the place you go celebrate your birthdays and anniversaries or 
you know. <laughs> okay, thank yeah. you. Well, uh, thank you Great. very much, uh, Devna Vadgama, thank uh, you. for that information and uh, also for the concept. I think it's a brilliant concept thank and you. it also offers an opportunity for us to boost our local uh, exactly. restaurants because, I mean, we've suffered a huge blow in the last few years yes. in terms of tourism, yes. so we need to... Uh, yes, you know, we want to grow it. Business. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Thank you very much and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank That's uh, Devna Vadgama, sales director for Eat Out. And we're talking about Nairobi Restaurant Week. Remember, all you need to do is get onto the website and, uh, well, uh, find out where you'd, um, which cuisine you'd like to sample out. And there you go. Uh, for an, an affordable amount, an, an, a subsidized amount, let me call it, uh, you'd be able to sample some very exclusive and good cuisine uh, over the weekend. In case you don't have a plot, well, make it your plot. Well, do stay with us right here on KTN. And uh, shortly, we're going to be having our Hot Topics coming up. There's a panel, rough and ready, and I can see they're getting themselves all set. And uh, there's a lot that's happening. They're jumping in the background. Thank God you can't see them. Uh, but there you go, Hot Topics coming up right here in just a bit.